y'all it's your girl salute Maria. welcome back to my channel before we get into this video today make sure y'all like comment and subscribe okay y'all so i'm back with another story time today from the title of this video y'all already know what your girl is about to talk about so let's get into this video today okay y'all so <clears throat> with this situation it happened around the time when i was living with my uncle or whatever and it was like a whole bunch of stuff going on at the time y'all um move she ended up getting caught up had snuck some dude in the house or whatever but little do they know this girl been sneaking people in the house for years okay he just caught that one time and that was it but clock that tea little do he know clock that tea. she been doing that so i was just like okay cool like so once i seen her doing her or whatever i was just like shit i might need to sneak me a little nigga in here one day or whatever let's see how that see how that's turned out for you girl and i oh or whatever y'all and i know i don't know if he would still be watching my story times or whatever but it's probably hard for him to believe anything you know what I'm saying? because i was really quiet i was really timid you know what i'm saying because i was low-key like scared that this thing was gonna keep me out or i was gonna be on the street so i didn't say anything i just kind of let them bully me and him talk to me any type of way or whatever because i just felt like if i would have spoke up or spoke out i would have been on the streets so, <laughs> i didn't say anything um i kind of felt like he at the end of the day he really did know that it was his kids and not me that was really like that you know what i'm saying i was just kind of learning from them as the time went on so it was this specific dude um around the time y'all we're just gonna name him officer and i'm bringing him up because i seen him recently or whatever <clears throat> he used to be an officer but nowhere near his name so name him officer, officer or whatever we went to high school together whatever and i will always see him around um he used to date this girl for a long long time they had a baby together all this and all that so i didn't think i was his type at all y'all because like i told y'all back then around the time my type was light-skinned dudes i don't know why like i don't know like i don't know what was wrong with me but i just found him very attractive like he was cute as hell and i was just like yeah like he my type but he had never tried to talk to me so i thought right so and i would have never would try to talk to him anyway like he had a whole girlfriend so around the time like i was in wait maybe 11 going on 12th grade he because he was one year older than me i think he didn't graduate with him. i don't know i forgot the dynamic i don't know but i know i was still in high school <clears throat> and he wasn't in that relationship anymore so i forgot where he hit me up first or whatever probably was facebook or whatever and was just like oh you cute and you know me being insecure like oh he think i'm cute like because y'all i'm telling you like the girls he go for and the way i looked it i was confused on why he was even talking to me but that's just him being, you know, negative and insecure as fuck. Well. But he probably seen something else in me that I ain't seeing myself. So he was just like, you know, hey, like, you cute. Like, I be seeing you. Like, what's up? I'm just like, you cute too. Like, and he would always call me, like, chocolate and sexy chocolate or whatever. So I was like, oh, I ain't never had nobody call me that before. So, yeah. So me and him started texting or whatever, y'all. And it would be like... It started off on Facebook, but then we had, like he said, a number. He would text me every morning, good morning, beautiful, good morning, chocolate, da 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 da, da. Like, just all this and all that, trying to hype your girl up. And at first, I didn't know what to think of it. Like, I don't know if he was just playing with me. Because <clears throat> he was kind of, like, a pop popular in high school or whatever. I didn't know if he was playing with me. I didn't know what the fuck he wanted. I didn't know, but, you know, you know what niggas be on. But I didn't know what he really wanted out of me. So, I was just like, what is this giving? Like, so, I was just kind of like just going along with it or whatever so we would talk and he was like you know me and you should chill or whatever um and i'm just like well i can't really chill because i can barely even move barely even leave this crib like he was like whenever you find a time like me and you could chill or whatever so i think one time like i went to like red house or whatever and i had him pull up on me there because her parents ain't kept fuck i mean they did but they didn't so he pulled up on me or whatever i think i went outside and like talked to him a little bit or whatever <clears throat> talked to him in the car or whatever and i was like oh yeah we gotta do this again like you cool as fuck cool as fuck all this and all that it's like yeah like you cute and this and that like just hyping your girl up <clears throat> so i'm like okay cool so after this situation y'all me and him will always sit there and text and talk on like we ain't never really talk on the phone not that i think about it we just would text and he would text me every single morning and we would see each other when we could see each other but it wouldn't be like that like i said i don't think he even went to the school anymore because he graduated and i was still in i was in 12th grade at the time or whatever so 
it was another Pacific time, and I was just like, um, me and you should like chill. And he was like, how we gonna chill? And I'm just like, shit, I don't know. Like, we should try to do something. And I don't know why I try to do this, y'all. I think it's because I couldn't get it out the house at this time, y'all. So it was a Pacific time where <clears throat> my uncle and my aunt wasn't gonna be there or whatever. But they real tricky, and it's like. After that situation happened with Moo, he said he was going to, like, put cameras and shit up in the house. And I feel like he was capping, because where are the cameras at? So, I don't know if he really got cameras in there. I really didn't care. Whatever. So, I was just like, you know, my uncle and my aunt, they're not going to be here or whatever. So, you, you might can come over here. I don't know. Like, I never did this before. I don't know what to do. And he was just like, well, just let me know. And if you're sure, you know what I'm saying, I can swing the block, come over there or whatever. So... And we was like making up scenarios like if they if they catch you, you know what I'm saying, like you do this, do that, go out the back, I don't know, like jump out the window. It's all type of shit. We were just like cracking the fuck up, saying like how he was gonna get out there, out the crib or whatever. <laughs> so <clears throat> lo and behold, my uncle and my aunt left, they went wherever they went. Nobody was at the house this day. Nobody. It was just me. So I'm just like, we in the clear, like they not here or whatever, like pull up. So the way my uncle and them and aunt them um, like the way they live at set up everybody know everybody so i told him being that mood already didn't got caught i told him you know what i'm saying park all the way at the end around the, like when nobody can see you nobody can see you like it's so crazy y'all because with that situation with that story she got caught she's so slow like she had the person who she stuck in the crib and that's a whole nother story time that's really her story but she had the person she snuck in the house car across the street where nobody stays at, parked on the, like, in front of the yard. How dumb can you be? You are really dumb, for real. So, he parked all the way at the end or whatever. He would have to, like, run a walk or whatever. I don't know. Have to get back to his car. I don't know how the fuck he was going to do it. So, I ended up sneaking this nigga in, y'all. I think I even let him in the front door. He come in or whatever. I locked the door. We go into the room that was downstairs or whatever. Thank God. And we just in there talking or whatever real quick. And we just talking. He kind of like sat on the bed. We just talking. Basically saying the same shit we always be saying. You know, you look good as fuck. Like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, we both was kind of nervous. Like, I don't know what we planned to even do. We didn't plan to do anything. We just wanted to see each other. So me and him talking or whatever. And next thing I know, I hear the garage. And I'm just like, oh. That's my uncle and them, like, you got to go. So, I think, like, since they going through the garage, you know what I'm saying, I told him to go through back through the front. I didn't know what to do. I lied, y'all. He went through the back, not the front. You know what I'm saying, at the time. And I got him out of there. I got him out of there, y'all. And I was so, like, my heart was racing so fucking bad. Because I'm just like, this nigga catch me with this. I'm done. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? So, when it's like soon as I heard the garage, I was like, You gotta go, you gotta get the fuck out of here. He like, What the fuck? Like, so I hurry up and let him get out the front or whatever. Cause if they coming through the garage, you know what I'm saying, they can't see who the fuck going out the front. So I hurry up and let him out the door or whatever, lock the door. I don't know where he went because say for example, if he did run straight and they still put it in, they probably would have seen him run past. I don't know how he did it, but y'all, he finessed and he got back to his car unscathed, unseen, untouched, all, all of that. You know what I'm saying? My uncle them came in. I was acting like nothing ever happened. You know what I'm saying? I act like nothing happened. Because this is around the time he was about to kick me out anyway. I was acting like nothing happened or whatever. And they never noticed that that happened, y'all. Mind you, he wasn't in the house, but, but what? Maybe 10 minutes, not even. Like... He wasn't in there long. I don't know where the fuck I thought these motherfuckers was going. I think they was going on a date or something. I don't know if they was trying to play with your girl. But they came right back. I was like, damn. So after that, I was just like, you know, we'll chill another time. He was like, yeah, I got up out of there. I ran like a motherfucker. I got up out of there. And me and him just laughing or whatever through text or whatever. I'm like, damn, yeah, I can't believe I even did that. I never even did that before. I never snuck nobody in. And he was just like, yeah, like that was crazy as fuck. That was a close call. We're going to have to chill somewhere else. Like, I ain't doing that no more. And I was like, you know, I understand. Like, I don't want to even do that no more. Like, I'm putting your life at risk, my life at risk, all that. So then, y'all, we ended up chilling another time, y'all, at this point point of time y'all tensions is high me and him been talking about doing a little freaking freaking nasty or whatever and i was just like um officer like 
don't know like we could but i don't know like we could we could see what it's giving i don't know so it was another pacific time y'all me and the girl red me and her was friends like so hard back in the day i always used to go to her house so i go to her house or whatever and i'm like girl like officer about to come scoop me up we about to go chill in his car or whatever and i'll be back she was like okay cool like all right i'll let my mama know i'll tell you left with your people or something you come right back i'm like all right cool so he pull up i leave out i go with him or whatever we riding around like the different neighborhoods that's in the neighborhood that they was in <clears throat> looking for a good spot to chill at so we ended up pulling up to like this one neighborhood that had like a cul-de-sac i don't know why we would pull up in a cul-de-sac mind you it's houses all around so we pull up in a cul-de-sac or whatever and we just talking and he was just like yeah like you want to get in the back and i was like so so i'm just like all right well we can get in the back or whatever i forgot how the dialogue went or whatever but basically one thing led to another and we was in the back so we both every time we was around each other it's like we both was nervous as fuck i don't know why he was nervous with me but i know i was why i was nervous with him because i was just like i was confused on why he even really liked me for real like i was just like hmm, you like me so we get in the back or whatever y'all and I don't even know if we kissed. I think we did. I think we did like a little peck or two. I don't know. But he tried to like put the little Jimmy on or whatever. And that's why I, I wouldn't even count this, y'all. Like he went to go like stick it in there. And officers started getting like real like nervous like he started to look around he looking all out the windows and shit while he's laid up he looking out the windows and i'm just like what are you doing are you good he like yeah like i just never been in his neighborhood before like midway about him trying to stick his taco in my tuesday and i'm just like okay and he, he just looking all around and shit y'all to the point where he didn't got soft i don't even know how big this man meat is i don't know what it's given because he didn't even let it build up to that so after he looking around i'm just like getting dried up like a prune and i'm just like hey bro come on now dog come on man so what you want to do mind you y'all i think like maybe the tip rubbed across the taco because he had you know the wrapper on or whatever and if y'all don't know what i'm talking about put context clues together so he was just like yeah i don't feel comfortable doing it right here like maybe we should uh pick another spot or just do it another day or whatever and i'm just like you know i gotta get back to uh red house because i told her i was gonna be back at a certain time and me and her about to go somewhere or whatever and he was like okay well we could just do it another time or whatever y'all so i was just like okay cool whatever so that didn't go as planned, y'all. Um, I don't know whether to even count that as doing it, but that don't really count because he didn't even really get in there, like for real at all. So I don't count him on my hands when I say how many people I slept with because I, I just feel like that don't count. If y'all think it count, tell me down below because I really want to know, do it count? Like just the tip grazed. It ain't even insert the taco it's just the tip grazed. Do, do that count if the tip y'all let me know so it was another situation y'all and i have story times about this girl um i'm gonna give her a name when i do the story times about her or whatever but she was cool as shit we ended up she ended up going to her house or whatever y'all and officer hit me up it's like what you doing i'm like at my homegirl house you want to pull up he like yeah i'm pull up on you whatever he come over there y'all and after this situation i just stopped talking to him and he come over there or whatever and he he's funny like when you really get to know him like he's really funny um at first you would think that he don't even talk but he's very funny so when he come over there y'all he was just we was just joking about dumb shit like just goofing around and he was just like nobody can ever nobody can ever me. watch this and y'all he like turned around it like squeezed his butt cheeks together so fucking tight. It was like, if I ever go to jail, <laughs> it was like, if I ever go to jail, ain't nobody me. How they gonna get in there? How they gonna get in there, y'all? It was so motherfucking funny, y'all. But looking back, I was just like, why are you doing this? Like, who does shit like this? Like, what are you talking about? Like, where did this come from? But it was hilarious, y'all. And after that, y'all, I just never talked to him again. I never talked to him again. It wasn't nothing like that. Um, I think he started talking to somebody else, but that shit kind of like made me like. And I, oh. Yeah.
<laughs> but that was the last time I can remember chilling with officer or whatever. And then when I see him recently or whatever, I'm like, damn, I remember him. You know what I'm saying? But he was cool. He was a cool dude or whatever. Yeah, and that was the first boy I ever snuck in any house. <laughs> the fuck? And yeah, y'all, that is a wrap for this story time. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. Follow your girl on all social medias. That's at TikTok, at Salute Marie, and Instagram, at Salute Marie. And always make sure your post notification bell is always turned on. So every time I post another video, y'all what? <laughs> Tune in. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.